66 million primary school aged children attend classes hungry across the developing world, with 23 million of those in Africa alone. It all has a knock-on effect for a child's ability to learn and go on to earn money, which ultimately affects a country's economy as a whole. Many governments and NGOs alongside organisations like the World Food Programme are fighting to eradicate hunger by 2030 and prevent all forms of malnutrition. But that's easier said than done. One way of reaching those malnourished children is through school feeding programs. A guaranteed meal at school can really incentivize people to keep their children in school. Typically, this is originated through food assistance via an organization like WFP, but governments are increasingly taking on the task to ensure its sustainability. School feeding programs have proven to be a great way to address malnutrition in children. But what does it take to ensure school meals go beyond just feeding children to actually nourishing them? Well, the food served must contain essential vitamins and minerals. But according to some nutrition experts, food diversification is not always accessible, available or affordable. Even if it is, crops in certain parts of the world lack the nutrients they used to have as a result of climate change. This is where fortification comes in. I strongly believe that first we need to provide nutritious meals, but we know that just with the meal it's not enough in some areas where studies show that the kids need more supplementation and more fortification. In some areas it's the only meal that they have in a day, just the meal that is served in the school. Staple food fortification is when essential vitamins and minerals are added to foods like wheat, maize, rice, oils at the post-harvesting stage. It doesn't change the taste and is a proven cost-effective method of ensuring children get the nutrients they need to really go on to lead a healthy life. Rice fortification is a particularly effective intervention. More than 3 billion people across the globe rely on rice as a staple food, many of which live in developing countries where rice contributes as much as 75% of their daily energy intake. Rice can be fortified with several micronutrients such as iron, folic acid, vitamin A and zinc. Fortified rice has already shown a positive impact on children's cognitive development in school feeding programs in Bangladesh, Cambodia, Myanmar, Bhutan and India. Point of use fortification is another method and one also used by World Food Programme in its school feeding programmes. This is when, rather than being added at the post-harvesting stage, vitamins and minerals are added to a meal just before it's eaten. They come in the form of a powder in a sachet ready to be sprinkled or mixed into any food, again without changing the taste. In one study of children aged 2 to 12 years, those that received point of use fortification were less likely to develop anemia or diarrhea compared to children receiving no intervention. Another crucial factor is strong collaboration between the public and private sectors. I believe that the private sector has a very important role to, to play. Even the SM uh, plays a very important role in the Brazilian school feeding program because they provide the nutrients that the Minister of Health in Brazil purchase that can be given in the schools. While private sector companies provide the necessary vitamins and minerals, governments are responsible for legislation, regulation and monitoring. In addition, regular engagement from consumers, civil society, academia, NGOs and the donor community helps contribute to their success. Fortification is also cost effective. For example, in Tanzania, the World Bank calculates that deficiencies in iron, vitamin A and folic acid cost more than $518 million. That's 2.65% of GDP. Meanwhile, the country's food fortification program is expected to yield over $8 in benefits for each dollar spent. Incorporating fortified foods into school meals is a highly effective way to tackle malnutrition in children. Fortification, whether point of use or staple food, ensures the meals they receive not only feed them but nourish them, allowing them the chance to have a brighter and better future.